Today, we will show our prototype web service of SmartSaver. It is consumer oriented and designed to disaggregate the energy consumption to individual appliances. Firstly, with power meters or sensors connected to our data server, SmartSaver can display real time energy consumption and do automatic or online energy disaggregation. In our case, we monitored two rooms. Room 1 has two power sensors and one data collector purchased from current cost with each sensor measuring four different appliances at once. Room 2 has one power sensor and one data collector with only one power sensor measuring four different appliances. Okay, let's try the web service. First, log into your previously registered private account in SmartSaver. After logging into your account, you can easily see the real-time load curve for each power sensor. Remember that in our case, each sensor measures the aggregated power consumption of four appliances. You can browse the historical load curve simply by choosing the beginning and ending times. Next, we are going to show the major functions which include automatic and online energy disaggregation. To trigger this function, you only need to fill a simple task request form containing the information of which aggregated load curve you want to disaggregate and the time period you would like to look into. After submitting the form, our task server begins to use the engine known as the Robust Sparse Switching Event Recovery Model, or RSSER for short. Once the energy disaggregation is finished, the task state will change to finished. By clicking finished, you will jump to the results display page, where the energy consumption of each individual appliance is shown by the histogram. The pie chart shows the percentage contribution of each appliance to the total consumption. Another major function is manual or offline energy disaggregation. If you do not have any power sensors connected to our data center, but do have energy consumption data yourself. First, add the basic information of the major appliances that contribute to your energy consumption data, such as the appliance name, the rated power, and the power deviation. Note that the rated power and power deviation information can be found in the user's manual of the appliance or can be measured and evaluated using the power sensor. After completing the appliances list, you just need to upload your aggregated energy consumption data in this data format. Similar to before, after clicking finished, you will jump to the results display page, which shows the disaggregated energy consumption for each individual appliance. The third function of our web service is to provide real-time states monitoring for individual appliances. By clicking the Appliance State Monitoring button, you can jump to our State Monitoring page, where the basic topology information of your power sensor and groups of measured appliances is shown. Click Check States. The most recent states of individual appliances in their corresponding groups are shown, which are recovered by our RSSER engine. Of course, when using our web service, you can also manage the information of appliances in your house. A list of added appliances is maintained under your account. You can modify the information of existing appliances. For example, providing more accurate power rate information would help improve the accuracy of energy disaggregation. In conclusion, this is SmartSaver, a consumer-oriented web service for energy disaggregation. Thanks for watching the video.